Meghan and Harry's kids Archie and Lilibert are spending autumn in California. The Sussex family is back together in Montecito. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are now back home in Montecito, California. After attending the funeral of Prince Harry's grandmother Queen Elizabeth II, the couple were away for 17 days in total, having visited Manchester and Germany for charity events before they heard of the monarch's sad passing. It's believed the Sussex's children Archie and Lilibert stayed home in the US during this time. So we imagine a big family reunion took place on their return. Now back together as a family of four, what do the autumn months hold for young Archie and Lilibert? Harry and Meghan's eldest child Archie is a busy boy right now, spending weekdays at his California preschool. In a recent interview with The Cut for the New York Times website, Alison P. Davis revealed that Archie has gone back to school and is ready to begin going full days. The interviewer, who accompanied Meghan on the school pickup, divulged that an update letter from his teacher reveals that he had a good day, despite not eating his sandwich, and is ready to begin going for full days, rather than half days. We also learned that cheerful Archie greets his mother excitedly exclaiming, Mama, 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 when she picks him up from school. The young royal also goes to his school friend's birthday parties and brings a week's worth of freshly picked fruit for his fellow classmates. Lilibet, meanwhile, is now 15 months old and likely tottering around the house. It's the age where toddlers are into everything. So the little girl is bound to be keeping her parents Meghan and Harry on their toes. In a recent episode of her Spotify podcast, Archetypes, Meghan mentioned that the kids currently have an amazing nanny named Lauren, who has been with the family for some time. The Duchess mother Doria Ragland also lives nearby and is sure to be a regular visitor at their Montecito mansion. The weather in this region of California is still hot and sunny, around 30 degrees in September. So we expect the Sussexes will make the most of the outdoor lifestyle. They have a large garden for the children to play in and are known to enjoy going on bike rides and visiting the beach with their pet dogs. Halloween isn't far away on the 31st of October, and the family has previously celebrated the occasion. By dressing up their children in fun costumes, we wonder what Archie and Lilibert will be this year. Speaking on the Ellen DeGeneres show in 2021, Megan said, We wanted to do something fun for the kids. But the kids were just not into it at all. Archie was a dinosaur for maybe five minutes. Ellen, who joined the Sussexes for the annual holiday, replied. No, not even for five minutes, finally Harry talked him into having the head on, but Lily was a skunk. Megan laughed and added, she was a little skunk, like flower from Bambi. Megan and Mindy Kaling are getting real about the hardships of high school. In the latest episode of Megan's Archetypes podcast titled The Stigma of the Singleton with Mindy Kaling, the two women record what they were like in high school with the Duchess of Sussex describing herself as an ugly duckling. Look, maybe not conventional beauty is it, now? Maybe that would be seen as beautiful but massive frizzy curly hair and a huge gap in my teeth that. Megan said. I was the smart one. Forever and ever and ever and ever. And, and then just sort of grew up. Megan talked about her love of Archie comics my son is not named after Archie comic books the mom of two noted. And she said she was way more better than Veronica, I was the smart one, not the pretty one. Megan added that while attending her old girls Catholic school Immaculate Heart through middle and high school, she kept herself busy to avoid an awkward lunchroom situation. But I never had anyone to sit with at lunch. I, I was always a little bit of a loner and really shy and didn't know where I fit in. Megan said. And, and so I just became, I was like, okay. Well then I'll become the president of the multicultural club. And the president of sophomore class and the president of this and French club. And, and by doing that, I had meetings at lunch time. So I didn't have to worry about who I would sit with or what I would do because I was always so busy. Mindy replied, that makes me very emotional. And that's, I'm happy that people know that because I think people see you and they're like, oh, my gosh, like a wedding. The couture fittings for that and this and that and I think that I certainly didn't know that about you. And it's nice to know. The two women also bonded over being latchkey kids. Kaling said, you know, I was a typical latchkey kid because my parents both worked and they were immigrants. And there was, I think, it's all just like your personality, right? 
Like my personality loved freedom. And so for me, I loved just being able to read. You know, when I was a kid, it was like established roots in this country. Make money, you know? And so, we were just at home, we weren't allowed to watch TV, so we just had to read. And so, that's, I really enjoyed that, I think that's why I became a writer is because of that, like just like. The profound boredness that I had as a child whether, my only access point was. You know, was watching, was reading books and reading magazines if we had them. Thank you for watching. If you like our video, would you please help us like, share and subscribe our channel. Wish you happy to see our videos, thank you very much.